Madame Scott Cato, pour une minute trente. Thank you very much, Madam President. During the referendum campaign, I argued that the European Union has played a vital role in underpinning stability and democracy across our continent. We should not take our democratic rights for granted, and I'm shocked by the instability and divisions that the vote to leave and the campaign itself have caused in my country. Many of those who voted for the UK to, to leave the EU did so for principled reasons, some of which I agree with but I think it would be dangerously politically naive to ignore the fact that within the current wave of inarticulate hostility against the European Union, there are forces whose intention is not to reform our institutions, but to undermine democracy itself. As a result of the vote to leave the EU, my country is left without a government or opposition and with a frightening increase in the number of racist attacks. I have no doubt that we will return to a state of stable democratic governance, but in the meantime I offer some reassurance to those who are unsettled by recent developments. As individuals, please wear the safety pin to show that we stand together against the tiny minority of racists, whether you voted to leave or to remain. As Greens, we will fight to ensure that EU citizens already living in the UK will be allowed to stay, and we insist that they are treated respectfully. We will also do our utmost to achieve an electoral system where votes are translated into seats fairly so that nobody feels their voice is unheard and politicians act as true representatives. And finally, we will ensure that our decision to leave the EU is not used as an excuse to launch a race to the bottom in terms of environmental standards, taxation and workers' rights. Monsieur Corbett, vous voulez poser une carte bleue?